Positive Lady Delivers, this is Dr. D.D. D. Suma from I Can Change Project. Magandang Saturday morning sa lahat ng mga delivers natin. And it's the first time po tayo mapanood sa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, click mo na po yan, Dr. D.D. Suma. Right, so Saturday, pakunta tayo nga sa Santa Ana, Manila and uh, SM North for one uh, business ibablog natin plus isang coaching. And, and bukas naman na sa Robinsons, pampanga tayo for another coaching. Uh, business po ng mga magkakapatid from Del Monte, Bulacan. So, see you there po. Alright, so, doon sa mga gusto mag-schedule ngayon, may nagme-message. Uh, next Saturday na lang, schedule natin. Medyo napuno na po tayo ngayong umaga. Bukas, available tayo if you want. Okay, so, yung kausap ko pala kanina, bukas. Alright, so, uh, the only way to survive the future, believe it or not, is to start establishing your passive income. That's the only way. Believe me, it's the only way that you can survive, that you can live uh, uh, wealthy, that you can have the means to buy your needs and even some of your wants and to, uh, to live a decent life. And that's the only way. You start establishing your uh, passive income. Eh bakit naman, Doc, di maganda na may work ko? Yeah, uh, maganda na may work natin. You are, maybe you are earning uh, 40000 50000 and even, okay, 60,000, 70,000 a month now, okay? Or even nasa ibang bansa ka, OFW, maganda yung trabaho mo. Still, I'm telling you, it's hard for you to survive the future without your passive income. So if I were you, uh, if you are 30 now, 40, lalo yung mga 50, 60, yan, start establishing your passive income. Doc, di pwede pa ba ako 60? Yeah, pwede, pwede pa po, okay? So y yun lang ang dahilan because... Uh, ayun lang ang paraan para makasurvive tayo because number one uh, pag hindi tayo nagkaroon ng passive income nakafix ang pera natin nakafix naka ang susolduin natin uh, or matatanggap natin income monthly okay but the problem is yung mga expenses natin hindi siya nakafix and uh, it's, they're getting higher hindi mo ba na, napapansin na yung dati gasolina lang di ba so panay increase okay pag kumain ka dati eto lang, meron ka ng food ngayon, you know, additional 10%, 20%. Uh, pag nag-grocery, di ba, hindi ako nag-grocery, pero alam ko yung pinagdada ng nanay ko. <laughs> yung mga tagabili, yung dietitian ko, tagabili ng pagkain ko, uh, papadala ko ngayon, sabi ko, It, ito lang, ito lang yung nabili natin, ito yung nabili mo. So, uh, prices uh, are, you know, are getting higher. So, we have to do something about it. Bago tayo maunahan, unahan na natin ang pagbabago sa future. Okay? So, let us prepare as early as now. So, ano ba, Dok D, ang gagawin natin? Alright, so, um, you have to prepare, of course, your passive income or semi-passive income. In the real sense of it kasi, uh, wala talagang absolute. Walang absolute passive income. Okay? So, wala pong ganon. Uh, semi-passive income is 80% you're working on it or 50% you're still working on it. Okay? Ang total, ang absolute passive income kasi na sinasabi nila, yung totally wala kang ginagawa pero uh, kumikita ka. May mga ganon. So, mamaya, may, dito sa mga items ko, so meron nata ako dito ng isang papakita sa inyo. Okay? Uh, na, na ganun si system. Okay? So, kaya nga ang challenge ko po ay start working on it. Ngayon pa lang, you work on your passive income. Okay? Para naman pagdating ng future, eh, you know, uh, yung lifestyle mo ngayon, pwede mo pa rin gawin lifestyle mo. Okay? So, because I've been talking to different people, a lot of people na uh, after retirement or yung matanda na sila, they're still working kasi nga, you know, wala silang passive income and it's so hard. It's it's hard, okay? Because sa is, pandahilan, uh, pag medyo nagkakidad tayo, ang dami natin expenses, di ba? Una-una, hindi tayo pwedeng kumain ng ordinary food. Diba sabi ko kanina may dietitian ako. So, mas mahal, double, triple yung yung food ko kaysa sa ordinary na food, di ba? And second, we have to maintain check up and work out na um, mahal lang per hour, di ba? So, something like that. So, we have to prepare. So, paano ba tayo prepare, Doc? So, ito, uh, didiscuss na natin dito po. I have my may copy tayo dito. Okay. All right. So, the only way to survive your future is to survive, is to establish your uh, passive income. So, number one, ano ba yung mga pwede natin gawing uh, uh, passive income? Okay, number one, start your, start with your social media. So, yan talaga yung e-commerce na tinatawag natin. So, 
Yan talaga yung makakabangon sa atin. Isang tiyak na makakatulong para tayo makapag-prepare uh, sa future. This, this, this can help you siguro 50% of your needs in the near future. Alright? So, alin ba dito, Doggy? Like, YouTube channel, you can start establishing your YouTube channel. Um, Nag-start po ako mag-YouTube um, almost 2 years na. But after 6 months, binayaran na ako ni, uh, ni Google. Okay? So, though it's, it's not easy... Uh, in the start, um, maraming tayong pinagdaanan, like, uh, you know, uh, not to mention the bashers, okay, the haters, pero yung effort of doing it, lalo kung ikaw ay, uh, you have your full-time job. So, singit mo talaga sa hapon, Saturday, and sometimes Sunday afternoon, so, uh, I'm working on my YouTube channel para bayaran tayo ni Google. So, now at least, I in my list, okay, so, ito, I'm checking my revenue. So, nakaka... Magkano na ba kanina? Like, tina natin ah. For less than 2 years lang ah, lifetime. It's... Yan. Saan po yung makikita? Okay. $10,849. So, tina natin ah. So, $10,849. Let's say times $53 na lang po. So... 574,997. So, almost more than half million for less than two months. Ay, two years. Okay? So, this semi-passive income. Okay? I work on it. I upload two to three videos a day. So, yun yung nagiging ano natin. Nagkakaroon naman tayo ng uh, income monthly. Okay? So, you can also start your own YouTube channel. Kung ayaw naman YouTube, you can have your e-products like uh, mga e-book and by the way ah uh, uh, ka message natin sir John Orana Oranya okay ay sir uh, sa Negosyo University so i-guess natin siya one of these days para matulungan niya rin tayo uh, paano tayo mag-start ng ating uh, uh, YouTube uh, ano e-products disrupt ako sa my message uh, yung mga paggawa ng e-products because yun ang business ngayon ni sir John okay so uh, baka probably next week kasi nasa Canada siya ngayon eh para makausap po natin siya e-course also and ito yung plan natin magkaroon tayo ng mga ng e-course um, gusto kong magkaroon ng uh, you know kasi when I coach uh, isa-isa lang po yun eh so gusto ko um, yung mga common naman na uh, questions sa ating mga delivers ma-deliver natin through e-course so abangan nyo lang yan so uh, busy lang, I want to shoot it uh, as early as this siguro bago yung matapos ang first quarter ng 2019, okay? So, and other social media and other uh, products na pwede mong benta sa social media. Online, di ba? Kahit natutulog kami, nag-order. Dropshipping, di ba? That's one. Lalo na yung dropshipping. Uh, Magputap ka lang website mo. You get products from uh, AliExpress or other platform. Then, if they will be buying sa website mo, you gain commission. You have, uh, nagkakaroon ka ng uh, income. Bahala ka na mag-price, okay? So, ganun siya kadali, okay? In the, in the sense that the process is easy, but of course, each step, medyo may mga hard work na kasama yan. And hard work is necessary, di ba? It's not working smarter, it's working harder for your passive income, for your future. Kaya tuwing gagawa ka ng something for your, for this, isipin mo na lang, this is for my future. This is uh, for the uh, comfortable life and convenient life na gusto ko at 50, 60, yan, di ba? So, parang, that's my dream eh, pag uh, 50 na or 60, nasa teris na, nagkakapi na lang tayo. <laughs> anyway, so, okay, second, so that's one. Start building your social media. Uh, okay. Second, of course, you need to start your uh, investment. So, dapat meron tayong investment. Like, uh, hindi pwede wala ang ating investment as our uh, passive income for your future, diba? So, there are types of investment. I have my previous vlogs about it. Uh, by the way, if you need help for this, and even for your YouTube channel or e for your social media, now you want to set up your, put up your uh, passive income through this so I can help you just call me 0939 okay lalo na po sa investment because I classified investment uh, the traditional or the ordinary investment plus the high level investment that you can start based po yan sa inyong needs so that's why 
pag nag-coach ako, I ask background para mabigyan ko po kayo ng uh, prescription. <laughs> para mabigyan ko kayo ng best advice, what investment you can start. Doon sa mga ordinaryong empleyado, you can start your investment. You just don't know, pero walang nagsasabi sa'yo, but you know, kayang-kaya mong simula ng iyong uh, Uh, investment. Ito nga kapatid ko, walang word may investment. <laughs> may work pala wala siya sa weldo. So, <laughs> yung, mga, yung mga kapatid ko nga, ano, nakakatawa kasi uh, nag-start na sila ng mga investment nila. Kasi kayang-kaya mo, hindi mo lang alam, pero ngayon sinasabi ko sa'yo, kaya mo yan. Para pagdating ng araw, di ba, even small amount lang na you will be receiving additional 3,000 from your allowance, from your investment, di ba? Hindi lang 3,000 yan. Pag mag-start ka ngayon, if you are 20 or 30 or 40, Pag nag-start ka ng investment, pagdating ng future, uh, hindi lang 3,000 matatanggap mo. Lalo if you will be venturing into uh, high-level investment. So, we'll talk about that if you will ask me to coach you, right? I do online or personal coaching. Okay, and uh, third, how to start your start establishing your uh, passive income for your future is, right, start exploring your business. I'm not saying start... Uh, expanding your business is matagumpayagad. You just have to start. Just start exploring. Sa akin nga, mag-explore ka lang muna eh. Explore ka ng ganito. Mag-try ka ng uh, mag-resell o mag-overrun. By the way, doon sa mga gusto ng overrun products, ah, meron tayo. Iko-connect ta kayo, Mami Sabel, message ka lang. Or, uh, eto muna, mag-franchise ka. You, you, you try. Kung meron ka lang, ano, For example, meron ka ngayon sa bank, 20,000. Huwag ka sa 20,000. Because, pag na-chempuan mo yung business na yan, spending your 20,000, baka 200,000, 2 million kaya kang bigyan yan. Rather than yung 20,000 nandyan sa bangko mo, na isang araw, mauubos din yan, mababawasan sa dami ng mga naisip mong bilhin, may nanghiram, may nangutang, di ba? So, yung, in, yung savings mo na yan, i-venture mo na into business. mag ano ka na mag uh, mag explore di ba try to explore kung anong business ang pwede mong gawin oh it's it's okay to you know to, to fail in your first business i failed in my first second third business uh, thousands of people failed in their first business sabi nga ikatent eh magfail ka na ng nine para yung ten <laughs> uh, makuha mo na okay so i start because i start sabi your business because pagdating ng araw pag nagtagumpay ang negosyo mo na yan okay eventually pag establish mo na yung system pag 40 50 ka na so nakaupo ka na lang din again sa terrace nagkakape then you are receiving income from your business with your business partner o uh, meron ka lang meron ka lang manager na kausap di ba siya yung nagmamanage ng yung uh, uh, nagmamanage ng yung negosyo Okay? Alright. Uh, fourth. Alright. So, fourth uh, na passive income na pwede mong establish right now. Still, it's one form of invest actually, pero hindi wala ko siya. Real estate. Okay. Uh, why passive income, Doc? Hindi ka mabibigyan na income niya. Uh, ganito, when you buy property, either land, condo, or house and lot, okay? So, bilhin mo siya, then in three years, ibenta mo, then bili ka ulit. So, something like, you know, uh, pinapadami mo lang ang pera mo, then dispose mo again, then, or gusto mo naman, one time i-dispose after five or ten years, then after that, meron kang passive income din siya kasi nag increase po ang value niya, okay? And sa mga gustong bumili ng uh, condo, so meron tayo, uh, meron tayong deliver na nagbebenta ng kanyang condo sa uh, Novaliches, Quezon City, message mo ako, uh, two bedrooms po yan. And isa pang uh, apart apartment at uh, yeah, apartment sa Baguio City and lupa naman sa mid uh, Midland uh, Tagaytay. Yan. So, message mo lang ako para makonek kita sa mga uh, kausap natin. Alright? So, start your real estate investment. So, kung meron ka ngayong uh, pera may nagbentang murang lupa dyan, then bilhin mo na, pabakura mo, palagay mo ng halaman, kung bahay yan, pa-renovate mo, then sell it, diba? Nag-increase yung value. Kahit na a year... Uh, magkaroon ka lang ng 300,000, 200,000 na additional income, di ba? So, pwede mo nang isama sa iyong investment. Alright? Okay. And, uh, meron tayong dito number 5, pero wala naman tayong nakasulat. <laughs> so, number 5 is to buy buy something for rent. It's for rent. Uh, isa passive income. For example, bumili ka ng van, tricycle, or anything na pwede mong ipa 
rent. Kung bangka, di ba? Doon sa iba, iba natin mga delivers, may mga bangka po sila. So, pinaparent nila. Okay? So, uh, pag pinarent mo, of course, meron kang income. Wala ka naman masyadong, uh, wala ka masyadong, ano, uh, yung expenses mo lang dyan, yung start lang. Pero, siguro, konting maintenance, pero kukunin mo naman yung sa mga nagre-rent. For example, alam man, may nagre-rent sa van mo ng naka 20,000 ka. Okay? Or 15,000. Yung 10%, itabi mo, that's for maintenance. Okay? The other percent, that's your passive income, ilagay mo sa, di sa savings, ilagay mo sa investment. Okay? Um, mamaya, bago tayo malis, if we still have time, uh, you, itatanggalin na natin yung savings sa sistema mo. <laughs> Do, di ako magsasave ya. Tatanggalin na natin. Kasi sa dami ng mga nagme-message sa atin na nahihinang payo about naubos ang savings, alisin na natin talaga sa sistema mo ang savings. Okay? Paano? Mamaya, uh, ipa-vlog natin yan. Okay? So, Jigibers, these are the ways on how to uh, establish your passive income so that in the future, kaya mo mabuhay na maluwalhati. Okay? If you still help, uh, need help, okay? Kung pa, Doc Jing, hindi ko nga maintindihan passive income. Uh, wala ko naiintindihan sa sinabi mo. Pero I want to start. I want to have a good future with my family. I have money, pero hindi ko lang kung gagawin ko. O wala akong pera, hindi ko lang paano ako magkaroon ng pera. So, I can coach you. Uh, message mo ako. Again, 0939-525-4311. Or, uh, uh, message mo ako sa aking FB page, uh, Dr. G. Didi Sunga. Or sa aking FB account, Didi Sunga. Or sa Viber, yan. Yeah, may Viber tayo. Yung number ko. Uh, nagpalagay tayo kasi para doon sa mga OFW dito sa Pilipinas na nahirapan sa uh, load. So, basta may internet, pwede mo akong i-text or tawagan. Okay, so, alright, so, please share this video sa lahat mga ibigan natin. Kahit OFW, dito sa Pilipinas, para sama-sama tayong mabago at tumula ng ating buhay. Alright, so, thank you very much, Jilivers. Enjoy the rest of the day, and let's go, let's go!